Jeff Hardy says he is AEW bound. Cesaro becomes a free agent as his WWE contract expires. There is a Brian Cage AEW contract update and Buddy Matthews is all elite. Alrighty, everyone, there is tons of news, tons of contract updates. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's kick things off with AEW. We've been seeing a lot of new faces become all elite. And last night's AEW Dynamite was no exception. In fact, we saw the debut of Buddy Matthews. Take a look. Buddy Matthews has signed with AEW and has aligned himself with Malachi Black and Brody King. Last night on AEW Dynamite, after we saw the House of Black take on the Death Triangle Pack and Penta Oscuro, post-match we saw Malachi Black grab a shovel and was about to attack Penta when the lights went out. Buddy Matthews then appeared and at first acted like he was going to help Pac and Penta. However, he soon turned on them and a 3 on 2 on Tack ensued, ending with Matthews curb stomping Penta into a chair. Tony Khan then tweeted that Matthews had signed with the promotion. Matthews is best known for his run in WWE under the name Buddy Murphy, signing with the company in 2013. After spending time in NXT, he was called up in 2017 as part of the 205 Live brand, winning the Cruiserweight title. The following year, he moved up to the main roster and was best known for his matches with Black, which eventually led him to align with Seth Rollins, serving as his disciple. After turning against Seth, Murphy was mostly left off television until his release last June. And speaking of all these faces being added to the AEW roster, there is another name that is now in the mix. This person says he is headed to AEW. Jeff Hardy says he is AEW bound. While taking part in a meet and greet in Louisville, Kentucky on February 19th, he was interviewed by Jared Myers. In this, Jeff Hardy said, quote, I am going to AEW. Post Wrestling later confirmed with Myers that Hardy confirmed that he is headed to AEW when his 90-day WWE non-compete clause expires. Hardy was released by WWE on December 9, 2021, following an incident during a house show where Hardy left the ring during a match. Dave Meltzer reported on January 28th in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that Hardy was likely going to AEW if he did not return to WWE, and also reported that WWE had reached out to Hardy in an attempt to bring him back into the fold, including offering a WWE Hall of Fame induction, but Hardy turned the Hall of Fame offer down. Not gonna lie, Jeff Hardy heading on over to AEW sounds rather appealing, especially since his brother Matt Hardy is there, and AEW does have a very loaded and stacked tag team division. So personally, I'm already dream booking a bunch of matches, but there is tons of contract news to get into, so let's get to it. Cesaro's WWE contract has expired and he is now a free agent. According to a report from PW Insider and confirmed by our Dave Meltzer, WWE is believed to have offered Cesaro a new contract, but it was rejected. He had been on a one-year extension that expired earlier this week. Because his deal ran out, he will not have to wait for a 90-day non-compete window to sign with another company or wrestle elsewhere. Fightful Select reported that the news had been met with disappointment and dismay, as Cesaro was very well liked. There had been plans to use him on future shows, but that is no longer the case. The 41-year-old wrestled for WWE on the February 11th edition of SmackDown, losing to Happy Corbin. He hadn't won a match on WWE programming since defeating Ridge Holland on the November 26, 2021 episode of SmackDown. There were reportedly no plans to push him in recent months unless re-signed. He had been in the company since 2011. Over on the AEW side, Fightful Sean Ross Sapp has reported that Brian Cage will be sticking around in AEW. The report stated that Brian Cage had told those close to him that AEW had picked up his option year on his contract. Cage was said to have been surprised by this as he and virtually everyone on the AEW roster 
thought his deal would simply expire. Fightful did note that this has not yet been confirmed by AEW. On top of that, this comes as a surprise since his wife, Melissa Santos, has spoken out about the fact that she would like to see Brian Cage on television a whole lot more. And in the last couple of months, Brian Cage really hasn't been seen on Dynamite or on Rampage. Over on the Impact Wrestling side, Cody Diener revealed in an interview with Slam Wrestling that he has re-signed with Impact. The 39-year-old has been with the promotion since March 2018 and was also a member of the TNA roster for much of 2009. He is currently part of the Violent by Design faction along with Eric Young and Joe Doring. Cody Diener cited creative freedom, the ability to work with other promotions, and Impact's roster as his reasons for re-signing. And now for some WWE news. Bill Goldberg revealed that he was battling COVID-19 ahead of Elimination Chamber in Saudi Arabia. He goes into details in his podcast. This is what he had to say. Goldberg noted that he had not trained in three months and had COVID-19 when he got the call to go to Saudi Arabia and perform at Elimination Chamber against Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. He said, quote, I literally had two weeks in the gym to get ready for this. Goldberg also alluded to a documentary being filmed that will explain his preparation for the Elimination Chamber. Goldberg said, quote, what people don't understand and it will come out in the documentary is wrestling is tough to do as a 20 year old. It's even more difficult to do as a 30 year old, a 40 year old, and it's almost impossible as a 55 year old. I am one of the 0.003% of humans on the planet that can pull something like that off. He also opened up about the mental challenge of trying to stay positive ahead of Elimination Chamber when he felt like he had a lot going against him. He added that he tries to do the best job he can and that he hopes fans appreciate the effort in some way despite a much different way that they interact. And before we wrap things up here today, West Coast AEW fans get excited because we have a big weekend heading over to Sin City. AEW Double or Nothing is returning to Las Vegas, Nevada. The pay-per-view event will be held in Las Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena on Sunday, May 29th. Las Vegas will host Dynamite and Rampage in the week leading up to the event. Tickets for all three events will go on sale Friday, March 4th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Well, that's the latest for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me to stay up to date with all pro wrestling news and everything you need to know, as well as to check out some podcasts as well. Make sure to head on over to F4Wonline.com. On top of that, do not forget to hit that subscribe button on this channel and drop a thumbs up. Give this video a like. You can also come chat wrestling with me over on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone. Before you head out, don't forget to check out our previous story on Shane Swerve Strickland heading to AEW and AJ Styles' new WWE contract.